was all messed up, guys. Ready? Mama says, say hi. One, two, three. Hi! <laughs> hey, you left me hanging. You're supposed to say hi, too. Hey, you just take this time. Well, good morning, come fam. Um, welcome back to our channel. So pretty much, um, I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about something new and exciting that has been going on for quite about a while, quite about a while. I've been wanting to start a business for quite some time now, but I didn't know exactly what kind of business I wanted to do. So at first, um, I was thinking about maybe doing like photography because I do like to do I do like photography, but I don't, I'm not as passionate for it, like to have like a whole on business about it is what I learned. Um, I just like doing it for fun and on the side, just for my friends, you know, like here and there. For Mother's Day, I ended up like telling Alex, like, you know what, like what if I do chocolate covered strawberries for Mother's Day and just to get some extra money so that I can save for my school because I'm also going to school right now um Alex was like yeah you should totally do it so I did end up um I started off with just promoting that I was selling chocolate covered strawberries for Mother's Day and so and they were just like very simple dip chocolate strawberries that it was a huge success I ended up getting like 23 orders which ended up being like 300 and something strawberries it was so much and me and Alex were, Alex was actually helping me with the strawberries and it was just so, it was crazy because we like ran out of chocolate and like Alex was out in the middle of the night looking for some more chocolate. It was so, it was just a funny like first timers whole thing. So I ended up telling Alex, you know, like I really wanted to grow this as a business. I really do enjoy doing chocolate covered strawberries um, because I have always liked doing chocolate covered strawberries. I mean, one, they're super duper good. Two, I've only done them for like my inner family, um, my immediate family pretty much. I've never done them really for like huge parties, just like close party, like close family friends parties. June, I decided to get to start my own Instagram. And so that's what I did. I have um, an Instagram page. Um, that is called Metis underscore Fresitas, M-E-T-T-Y, no, it's just M-E-T-T-Y-S underscore F-R-E-S-T-I-A-S, -E -E Fresitas. It just became like a huge passion of mine. I love them. I love how you can do so much with chocolate covered strawberries. Not a lot of people, not a lot of people think you could do a lot with them, but there's so many different designs you can get to learn to do and you just get, you can get really creative with them. So, yeah, I have an Instagram for Methis Visitas. Go over right now and go and follow and give your girl some, show your girl some support. I haven't even told you guys about me starting my whole little business. So I really, that's why I really wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about it because um, I gotta keep you guys updated on the whole entire life situation. <laughs> Good morning, Kevin. Um, and so I just explained to you guys my whole little business thing. Um, and I just explained my whole little business idea. And so right now what I want to do is actually show you um, one of my letter boxes that I'm doing an order for today. So I want to show you guys the whole entire process of how I get that ready and set up and done. So yeah. Okay, so really quick, I just wanna say this really, really fast. I am not pregnant, guys, okay? I am just chubby, I am not pregnant. Uh, anyways, so this is the letter M that I got, it's 24 inches long. I got it over at Joann's. Um, it's a paper mache, just regular box M. And so here, I start um, going in with an X-Acto knife that I got over at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I just started cutting around the edges. So I don't know why, but this is like so simple and it never occurred to me like how people would do the letter boxes. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like how are people? At first, I would see a lot of people who would actually make the boxes their own using cardboard paper. 
Um, but then I came across his YouTube video. I really don't remember what YouTube video it was, but I saw that they just started cutting the top off like this. So I was like, what the heck? That is so simple. <laughs> so yeah, here I am. So now once you finish cutting all it off, you just really quick pop it off the top part. And then they're going to have these weird little swivel stuff. Oh, awk. I didn't realize I kept that in. Alex is sweeping. That's a miracle. <laughs> um, so yeah, so those little swivel thingies, you take them out, obviously. And then you're going to see around the edges, it looks a little rough. So I either go in with the X-Acto knife, um, as you see there, and just cut everything out. Um, most of the time, you are able to just peel it off. Um, so I usually do that using the knife, but if it's really hard and it doesn't want to lift or just peeling it off, then I just go in with the knife, like you see here. So obviously now I'm like washing my hands because you know hygiene and you're doing food stuff so yeah you know i'm here singing happy birthday two times to myself because that's what healthcare taught me since you all know i work at the hospital too and yep so what i'm doing here is i'm measuring out my strawberries to see exactly how many are gonna fit into the strawberry um so i think there was about 16 strawberries that ended up fitting into these letter boxes, into this specific one actually, the M. So here we have some clear sprinkles, the round little pearls, food coloring, your white chocolate. I got all of that at Hobby Lobby, except for the little white marbles. I got those at Walmart. Um, and yeah, so right now I'm just going and putting some chocolate. And this little cute cup that I use to do the strawberries. Oh, this is a secret ingredient, guys. Coconut oil is the secret ingredient for smooth chocolate. So you don't want to add too much coconut oil because if you do, um, it just makes your chocolate very runny and not consistent. Not have like a good consistency. Um, so you're going to go ahead and pop it into the microwave for 30 seconds. So you don't really want to add too much coconut oil, um, so start off with a little bit and then if you feel like you need more, then you add on because you don't want it to be super runny like oil, I mean, oops, <laughs> like water. So yeah, here I'm just like mixing it. This is the first time we take it out of the microwave, um, so give it a good mixture so that all, all the oil is um, really in the chocolate and just everything's getting melted very evenly. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> and then you go ahead and pop it in for another 30 seconds. So now our chocolate is ready. Oh my gosh, look at the consistency, guys. Like That is how you want your chocolate to pretty much look. Uh, and so it's not so runny and it just, it still has some thickness to it. So this is the pink food coloring I'm going to be using to add to the white chocolate. Make sure if you're going to use food coloring that it's not the gel uh, food coloring because then it gives it a weird consistency to the chocolate. Um, I got these off of Amazon and I really like them. They give such a good um, vibrant color. This is, I was going for a soft pink color. So obviously if you want more of a hot pink, then you add more um, food coloring onto the chocolate. I prefer using food coloring over like the colored white chocolate they already sell at the stores because I feel like the colored ones just, I don't know. I feel like their color comes out a little bit different. So it's not as vibrant as using food coloring. And here I am. Um, so I, you do wash your strawberries with salt and water. I did not record that for some reason, but I do wash them with salt and water. And then I go ahead and use the towel to dry them off. Um, some people will just leave them and wait until they get dry 
I just dry them off and then we go ahead and do the dip. Okay, so uh, for these strawberries, she wanted me to do like um, the marbles to be coming down from the top only, but not the bottom half. But I ended up not liking it, and in a little bit, you're just gonna see me dipping them all into uh, the little marbles. Uh, what are these called? The little white pearls? Because <laughs> I feel like it just looks so weird, and they're so heavy that it kept um, having the chocolate drip off of the strawberry. Um, so I was like, nope, we're just gonna dip it all. In about 10 seconds, you guys are gonna go ahead and see me. Like the dresser? Yeah, I like it. <gasps> what? Uh, you can connect it. I was gonna, I don't know, I was gonna tell you. Is it cool if I use your touch cord? Uh-huh. Alright. Well, I nicked it! Oh my gosh. Oh, you can connect it if you want. Oh, it's gonna come up this over here. Oh, okay. And I was like, what are you trying to connect it? What? Okay. All right, so here I am just filling um, the M with some shredded paper. I got this shredded paper on Amazon. Um, I figured it was a lot less expensive to purchase it on Amazon than, you know, to keep going to Target and buying it because, yeah, it is cheaper on Amazon. Um, so, yeah, I pretty much just fill it in um, and I spread it all throughout the M so it's, like, fully covered. Um, I've seen some people who just put a little bit just so that when they put the strawberries in it does have it surrounding around the strawberries and then here I am just mixing the chocolate again um, I use a cup to put the chocolate inside my little piping bag so it's just easier for me to I don't know to pour it in there And then I go ahead and just um, like kind of twist the top so that I have a good grip on it. And then I go ahead and cut the tip. Um, and then I make sure that the tip isn't too thick or thin. So I kind of just keep cutting it until I feel like, oh my God, I'm sorry. You guys can hear Alex in the background. He's so loud. Um, until I feel like it's a good line. <laughs> so I use the paper towel to try to figure that out. So I shake a lot, so I have Alex hold the strawberry for me while I try to do the design. Um, and I am still learning, guys, so... Um, yeah, I'm like totally t trying to take my time. <laughs> Which is good, okay? It's so good. But yeah, I, I like, I don't know, I have an issue. Look, look, woo! And this is what happens when you take your time and you get some help. So on these ones, we're gonna sprinkle some little sugar crystals on top. Um, so I was gonna do some just plain um, with the design and then some with the sugar crystals and then uh, you obviously wipe them off once it's dried. And then, yeah, that's how it's only able to, like the sugar crystals only stick on the design is when you do it that way. <laughs> I don't know if I explained that okay. And then here, um, 
I am brushing them off so that you can see how I mentioned earlier about the sugar crystals only being on the design instead of on the entire strawberry. You just use a little um, brush duster and go ahead and dust them off. Alright guys, so this is, I'm just trying to get like a full white picture of it. Alright, so that is the final look. My camera just died, so, so here is, I added those flowers and then I just filled it all in. That's pretty much the whole entire process of how I do the M. Um, I mean, not just the M, this goes for like any letter that I use. Um, I do offer two different sizes. It's either the 24 inch, which is this one that you guys are seeing right now, or the 12 inch, which is a little bit smaller um, than this one, or like half the size. I think personally, I like the 12 inch um, a little bit better because it's, I think it's a good length for you just to hold. Um, but the big ones are really pretty too, so don't get me wrong. Um, so yeah, now we're just gonna go outside, take pictures of it, and then so I can post it on Metis for Citas. So yeah, like always, if you guys are not, once again, subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. We really miss you guys and we love you guys so much. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!